Hi, it's Len, the creator of SingleParenting.us and author of the book Adventures in Single Parenting. Welcome to this video. Today's topic is Sex in the Single Parent, and this is the third video in a series of videos about single parents, dating, and sex. Whew. Well, wow, I'm impressed. After all the energy it takes and the myriad of activities that it takes to be a single parent, you have time left and energy left for Sex? Well, I did too. I think you know I'm a man, and I subscribe to the use it or lose it philosophy, and I certainly didn't want to lose it, so I tried to use it. But I will tell you all, in all honesty, there were many dry spells when I was a single parent. It just didn't fit into the lifestyle. Now, when the kids first came to live with me, I was involved with a woman who had two kids. So initially, there were two, uh, two kids, my two kids, and her two kids, and the, the six of us living together happily ever after, well, that was short-lived, actually. The conflicts between the kids turned that relationship into history. And in another video, I'm going to talk about integrating single families together and some of the issues that arise when you try to do that. But let's just stay with the fact that here I was out uh, in, in the world uh, trying to date again. And let's face the reality, even if we're married couples sleeping together in the same bed, having energy at the end of the day and time, and being away from the kids long enough for other activities is sometimes precluded. It's much more difficult when we're single to find the time and the place and the space and the energy to be able to engage in an intimate relationship. But single people date and ultimately find ourselves in intimate relationships. And the question is then, what happens? Well, of course, first off, the timing has got to be very, we have to be very careful. And it, we have to be very careful what we tell our kids and what we let them understand. We want them to know the truth, but we don't want to scare them. Uh, this is a very delicate time for the kids. Many times the kids still want you and your former spouse to get back together. They're still hoping to have a family again. And your new partner is going to threaten them. They're going to be afraid that maybe you won't get back together with their mom or their dad. And they're going to be afraid that maybe the new partner will take up more of your time and threaten their relationship with you. So this is a time when it's important to really reassure the kids how much you care about them and how important they are in your life and how they're a number one and nothing is going to get between you and them. You're not going to let that happen. And uh, it's important that your new partner understand that too, that the kids are number one. And if your new partner can't accept that, then this is probably not an, not an appropriate relationship. But it's also an opportunity for you to display to the kids what it's like to form positive adult relationships that aren't marred in controversy and arguing, etc., like the final days of your marriage probably were, assuming you were married. Now, below this video, there are a number of links to other websites that have additional information about single parents, dating, and sex. And in my written blog, there are, are numerous links to other information. And you can find the written blog at my website, singleparenting.com. US. Finally, if we're on YouTube, go ahead and share this channel or like the video if you like it and uh, share it with a friend if you, uh, if you like. And also, if you're on Facebook, like it or share it, please. That helps me. Thank you very much for that. My wish for you in the days ahead is that uh, your kids grow up healthy and they are positive contributors to society. I'm here to help you get there. This is Len. We'll talk again. And don't forget, come visit my website, singleparenting.us. Bye for now.